Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So we're reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 2, text number 30. Please repeat. Vaiyam Pujakshakila Satvadhamni Vaiyam Pujakshakila Satvadhamni Vaiyam Pujakshakila Satvadhamni Vaiyam Pujakshakila Satvadhamni Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Patpada Potena Mahat Kritena Vanti govat sapadam bavatim, Vanti govat sapadam bavatim, Kurvanti govat sapadam bavat bavatim, Kurvanti govat sapadam bavatim, Vai amho jakshakila satvadhamne, Vai amho jakshakila satvadhamne. Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Tvatpada Potena Mahat Kritena Tvatpada Potena Mahat Kritena Urvanti Govatsa Padang Bhavaptim Urvanti Govatsa Padang Bhavaptim Jakshila Satva Dhamme, Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki, Satpada Pote Potena Kurvanti govatsa padam bhavati Vayam bhujaksha sakila sattva dhamni Vayam bhujaksha kila sattva dhamni Samadhina veshita chita saike Svatpada pote namaha kritena Svatpada pote namaha kritena Kurvanti govatsa padam bhavadin Kurvanti govatsa padam bhavadin Devi Svayam bhujaksha kila sattva dhamni Samadhi Naveshita Cheta Saiki Tvatpada Pote Namahat Kritena Tvatpada Pote Namahat Kritena Kurvanti Govatsa Padam Bhavati Kurvanti Govatsa Padam Bhavati Samayambu Jaksa Shriya Sarvadamni Vayam bhujakshak sakila sattvadhamne Samadhina vishita chita saike Samadhina vishita chita saike Vatpada pote namahat kritena Vatpada pote namahat kritena Kurvanti govatsa padam bhavadim Kurvanti govatsa padam bhavadim Tvayi in you Ambhuja Aksha, Ambhuja Aksha, O Lotus Eyed Lord, O Lotus Eyed Lord, Akila Sattva Dhamni, Akila Sattva Dhamni, who are the original cause, who are the original cause, 
of all existence, of all existence from whom everything, of whom everything emanates, emanates and in whom, and in whom all potencies reside. All potencies reside. Samadhina. Samadhina. By constant meditation. By constant meditation. And complete absorption. And complete absorption. In thoughts of you. In thoughts of you. The supreme personality of Godhead. The supreme personality of Godhead. Aveshita. Aveshita. Fully absorbed. Fully absorbed. Fully engaged. Chetasa, Chetasa, but by such a mentality, but by such a mentality eke, 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 the one process, the one process of, always thinking, of always thinking of your lotus feet. Tvatpada potena, Tvatpada potena by boarding such a boat, boarding such a boat as your lotus feet. As your lotus feet. Mahakritena, Mahakritena by that action, that, that action which is considered, which is considered the, most powerful, the most powerful original existence, original existence or, which or which is executed by Mahajanas. Is executed by Mahajanas. All that in Mahakritena. All these <laughs> so many things. Just in two words. Kurvanti, Kurvanti, they make, they make. Govat Sapadam, Govat Sapadam, like the hoof print, like like the the hoof print of a calf. Of a calf. <coughs> Bhava Abdim, the great ocean of the nations. Ocean. The great ocean of nations. Vous parlez français, anglais Français. Vous pouvez suivre avec Mike dans le, dans le livre, si vous voulez. Translation. O oh, lotus-eyed Lord, by concentrating one's meditation on your lotus feet, which are the reservoir of all existence, and by accepting those lotus feet as the boat by which to cross the ocean of nations, one follows in the footsteps of Mahajanas, great saints, sages and devotees. By this simple process, one can cross the ocean of nations as easily as one steps over the hoof print of a calf. This is a famous verse, I think. Right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's written in the book also, like the I like the color. It's being what? In the online. Uh huh. They highlight the important shlokas. The color, special color. Yeah, special color. Uh -huh. Performed by Sheila Prabhupada. The true mission in life is to cross the ocean of nations, of repeated birth and death. Those in the darkness of ignorance, however, do not know this mission. Instead, being carried away by the waves of material nature, prakrite kriyamanani kunai karmani sarva shaha, they are undergoing the tribulations of Mrityu Sangsara Bhaktmani, repeated birth and death. But persons who have achieved knowledge by the association of devotees follow the Mahajanas, Mahakritena. Such a person always concentrates his mind upon the lotus feet of the Lord and executes one or more of the nine varieties of devotional service. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Pada Sevanam. Simply by this process, one can cross the insurmountable ocean of nations. <coughs> devotional service is powerful in any form. 
श्री विष्णु श्रावणे परीक्षित अभवत वाया सखी कीर्तने दिस इज फ्रॉम भक्ति रसामित सिंधु 12 265 According to this verse, Maharaj Parikshit became liberated by fully concentrating his mind on hearing the Lord's holy name, attributes, and pastimes. Similarly, Shukadeva Goswami simply glorified the Lord, and by speaking on the subject matters of Krishna that constitute the entire Shrimad Bhagavatam. He too was liberated. One may also be liberated simply by sakya, friendly behavior with the Lord. Such is the power of devotional service. As we learn from the examples set by the Lord's many pure devotees, Swayambhur Narada Shambhu, Kumara Kapilo Manu. Pralado Janako Bhishmu Bhalir Vaya Sakir Vayam Shima Bhagavatam 6.3.20 We have to follow in the footsteps of such devotees, for by this one easy process one can cross the great ocean of nations, just as one might cross a small hole created by the hoof of a calf. Here the Lord is described as Ambhujaksha, or lotus-eyed. By seeing the eyes of the Lord, which are compared to lotus flowers, one becomes so satisfied that one does not want to turn his eyes to anything else. Simply by seeing the transcendental form of the Lord, a devotee is at once fully absorbed in the Lord in his heart. This absorption is called samadhi. Jana vastita tat gatena manasa pashanti yam yoginaha. Shima Bhagavatam 12.13.1 A yogi is fully absorbed in thoughts of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, for he has no other business than to think of the Lord always within the heart. It is also said, Tamasrita ye pada palava plavam, mahat padam punya yasho muradehe, bhavam budhir vatsa padang param padam, padang padang yadvi padam natesham. For one who has accepted the boat of the lotus feet of the Lord, who is the shelter of the cosmic manifestation, and is famous as Murari, the enemy of the demon Mura. The ocean of the material world is like the water contained in a calf's foot footprint. Uh, that's, that's also, uh, this verse also has this, so there are more than one verse in the footprint analogy. This is not the only one. This is the, maybe the most famous verse? I think it's the most famous. <coughs> His goal is Param Param or Vaikuntha, the place where there are no material miseries, not the place where there is danger at every step. Shiman Bhagavatam 10.14.58 This process is recommended here by authorities like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. Swayampur Narada Sambhu. And therefore we must take to this process in order to transcend nations. This is very easy, but we must follow in the footsteps of great personalities, and then success will be possible. In regard to the word Mahakritena, it is also significant that the process shown by great devotees is not only for them, but also for others. If things are made easy, this affords facility for the person who has made them easy and also for others who follow the same principles. The 
process recommended in this verse for crossing the ocean of nations is easy not only for the devotee but also for common persons who follow the devotee. Mahatyano yena kata sapantaha. Omagnana timinam nasya pinandena shalakaya chakshuram militam jena tasmat shikara jena. Nama om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtana Kale Shimate Bhakti Vidam Swamini Tinavu. Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvachesha Shunyavadi Pasachari Shatane Vancha Kalpatam Vishcha Kripa Sandubya Yosha Patitano Pavane Mio Vaishnava Yosha I think I'll translate myself. It doesn't look like our regular translators are here. Je vais traduire un peu moi-même. Je fais un résumé, d'accord Je ne traduis pas tous les mots. I don't translate everything. So, what I have just extracted from this purport is that um, we have to please uh, the Mahajanas. We have to somehow or other um, uh, how do you say uh, the, the, Mahaj- the devotees, the Mahajanas if they, if they are favorably disposed to us then we can make progress. que je euh, retirais de ce teneur et porté, c'est que il faut euh, euh, comment dire en français il faut euh, il faut plaire aux dévots ou on peut dire comme dans le euh, dans le verset les Mahajana. Euh, so we should just try to get the get their favorable um, attitude from the great saints and devotees, and uh, this is actually enough to to help us progress in spiritual life. Just to have the good well wishing of a great devotee. Just avoir le les meilleurs vœux d'un dévot, on peut faire du progrès. So the, um, the, the Vedic culture means uh, to get blessings. To get blessings from senior persons, especially. La culture védique, c'est d'avoir des bénédictions des personnes euh, seniors. And uh, that is uh, the Brahmanas who give blessings. You can also get blessings from other persons. You can get the blessings of a loving mother. This is also needed. On peut avoir des bénédictions des Brahmanas. Les Brahmanas, c'est les les intellectuels, les, les prêtres, mais on peut avoir des, des bénédictions d'une, d'une mère aussi. And we are all very much in need of the benedictions of a loving mother in our lives, right? And father. And uh, we may some people may not have had uh, that, <coughs> especially in the West. We have, we may have been traumatized in our childhood. So, but um, we need the blessings of so many different people in order to become good human beings. If, 
pour des bénédictions de différentes personnes pour, pour devenir un, un être humain, pour devenir une, pers une bonne personne. And uh, the blessings are already there. We just have to imbibe those blessings. We have to behave in such a way as Bhakti Siddhanta said, we have to behave in such a way that Krishna will see us. Sometimes when we're standing in front of the deities, it's also okay. The devotees are very eager to see the Lord. The temple room is packed. Sometimes they even crawl on the shoulders of another devotee, like for Balaram. There's one devotee in that corner. I took him on my shoulders, Vishnu John. At the same time, we have to behave in such a way that Krishna will see us. We should not be, we should, we should be eager to see Krishna, but we should be more eager to behave in such a way that he will want to see us. Alors, il faut, uh, il faut se comporter d'une manière que Krishna, il veut nous voir. And so, these are very interesting verses that Prabhupada is quoting. He's quoting one verse from the Bhagavatam where there's a list of the 12 principal Mahajanas. And he's quoting another verse from which is, I know which verse it is, but here it is not uh, mentioned which verse it is at the very end. Mahajana Yena Gata Sapanta. This is actually from the Mahabharata. Alors, il y a deux versets intéressants cités uh, dans le tenor et porté. Un de Shimad Bhagavatam, la liste des douze Mahajana, et uh, un autre verset du Mah Mahabharata. And the two verses are speaking about uh, this word Mahajana. So in uh, the Mahabharata, which is the great epic of uh, the epic of Mahabharata, ba Mahabharata means India, so the great epic of India. But uh, at that time, India was not just India, as we know, Bharat was actually the whole planet, and uh, Maharaj Yudhisthira was the emperor of the whole planet, 5,000 years ago. Alors, le Mahabharat, c'est, uh, what do you say, epic? C'est quoi, en français? Mm, oui, un épic. Epic? Oui, ouais, c'est quoi? Le récit, le récit ou la description. Mm -hmm. Description, le récit de, de Mahabharata. Bharat, c'est euh, en fait le nom de l'Inde. India, ça c'est l'Inde, c'est moderne. Le, le mot originel pour le pays de l'Inde, c'est Bharat. Bharat Bhumi. Mais à l'époque, il y a 5000 ans, Bharat, c'était la planète euh, entière. Donc Maharaj, de, le roi Yudhisthira, il régnait toute la planète. So, um, this description of the Mahajanas, well, in the, Ma in the Mahabharata, um, before this verse, Maharaj Yudhisthira is questioned by a uh, kind of demon who is guarding a lake because uh, the Pandavas came to drink from a lake. They were very thirsty. Alors, le, uh, avant ce verset, <coughs> Mahajana Yena Ganta Sapanta, uh, les Pandavas uh, sont venus pour boire uh, un lac, mais il y avait un démon qui gardait le lac. Il posait des questions. 
pour, pour pouvoir voir, il faut répondre aux questions. So, the, the one, the most famous question, well, there were different questions. One famous question was, what is the panta? What is the path? What is the dharma? How, how do you know what is dharma or which path to follow? Alors, une des questions, c'était, euh, euh, qu'est-ce que le dharma? Qu'est-ce que le chemin à suivre? And uh, Maharaj Yudhisthira answered that the path of dharma, the secret of the path of dharma, you can find in the hearts of great personalities, great Mahajanas. They lay down the path to follow. Not uh, in the scriptures uh, and, you know, the, the place where the path of Dharma is laid down is coming from the heart of Mahajana's great devotees. Um, le, and that becomes scripture. That's, uh, um, alors, le, le chemin se trouve, le, le chemin à suivre pour la réalisation de soi se trouve dans le cœur des, des grandes personnalités les Mahajana, les, les dévots. Et ça devient des écritures. So you can say, well, so the scripture is, scriptures are made by humans, so they must be full of fault, they must be full of mistakes, right? They must be uh, imperfect. People will come with this argument. Alors, les, les gens vont, vont poser la question. Euh, c'est les humains qui ont écrit les écritures, donc c'est des, des livres euh, imparfaits. Uh, but no, they're not imperfect because the great uh, Mahajanas or devotees, where do they take instruction from? They take instructions from Krishna. Uh, and they don't take Sometimes they take direct instructions, uh, uh, but most of the time they take instructions through the disciplic succession. Ils prennent euh, des fois euh, les instructions directes de Krishna, mais souvent c'est euh, la succession disciplique euh, qu'ils suivent. So we also have, uh, we are also in the bona fide disciplic succession <coughs> Brahma Madhva Bodhya Sampradaya so this, this is our lineage and uh, there are more than one there, there are four uh, Sampradayas and we are in one of them il y a quatre uh, succession disciplic Et nous sommes dans, dans un des, de ces successions. So, gradually, everybody is leaving. <laughs> Graduellement, tout le monde part. Pas. <laughs> un, deux. <laughs> I hope they will come back. Um, so, we have to uh, invoke the benedictions of senior persons, of more advanced persons. This is how we can uh, progress in spiritual life. And um, how do we do that? Uh, we have to serve those people. Uh, we have to somehow or other uh, make them extract the best uh, in in those senior, senior persons, senior devotees. Alors, il faut comment faire pour, uh, pour avoir des bénédictions des dévots. Uh, il faut se comporter d'une manière qui, qui sont uh, favorables à nous. Il faut les servir. Service. So the first service. Uh, is to chant the holy names of Krishna 
uh, hearing and chanting. This is the most important service. And we should also render some uh, service, some practical menial service. So this combined will invoke the benedictions of the great Mahayanas, great souls. Écoutez et chantez, c'est la base, c'est le, le service plus important, chantez euh, Hare Krishna, et écoutez et chantez Hare Krishna. Ça c'est le service plus important, et euh, servir aussi euh, pratique, service pratique, les deux euh, combinés, combinaison des deux, euh, ça va, euh, ça va les faire favorable envers nous. Uh, so the so we have to be nice, at least we have to show some good feelings. This is like the minimum towards the devotees, towards Krishna. And uh, of course, the more we can also give some practical service or what, whatever we can do, that will uh, invoke their blessings. So we can <coughs> serve all the devotees, um, but we should also serve one particular devotee. That we, we can say that I choose my spiritual master. I don't think we choose our spiritual master. I think the, that Krishna chooses our spiritual master. On peut dire qu'on choisit son maître spirituel, mais je pense que c'est Krishna qui choisit, uh, qui le choisit pour nous. So I think that we should accept Krishna's arrangements. Uh, if Krishna arranges something, that means it's good for us. Sometimes we are thinking that we have to arrange something else. We have to find a, a spiritual master which will be qualified for me. <laughs> something like that. Or I have to find a husband which will be qualified for me. But what about me? Am I qualified? Sometimes the, the, mm, our expectations are here and the reality is here. So we have to come down to earth a little bit. Des fois, le, no, no, um, expect, comment dit, expect, uh, aspirations. Nos aspirations sont là, d'un maître spirituel ou d'un mari ou une femme, mais la réalité c'est là. Il faut, il faut essayer de revenir par terre. So I think that if we are a little bit Krishna conscious, we will see how Krishna arranges things and we can also accept the arrangements that Krishna is making. Uh, and uh, we get what we deserve. And many times we think we don't deserve to suffer. I'm such a good person. Why do I have to accept this husband or this wife or this, this spiritual master? He is anyway fallen like that. But we just, everything that happens to us is we deserve it. So we better accept it. On pense des fois qu'on on se mérite pas de souffrir tellement, mais tout ce que qui nous arrive, on se mérite. Donc il vaut mieux euh, d'accepter l'arrangement de Krishna et voir la main de Krishna dans, dans toutes, les, toutes les choses. So maybe you have some questions or comments? Yeah. Il y a des questions, des commentaires? Mm -hmm. You said that this is Krishna who chooses the spiritual master for us. Mm -hmm. But what is the explanation when you get initiated by one spiritual master uh, chosen by Krishna and the spiritual master falls down <laughs> because Krishna does not make a mistake 
So no. it, it was just a lesson to make some partial spiritual avant-point with this uh, spiritual master and after uh, get some, uh, some purification. Purification, purification, yeah. uh, in intermediate uh, process. Yeah, it's... Because uh, Krishna, Krishna doesn't make any mistakes. So this is... A I mean, <coughs> Prabhupada, he gave initiation to so many people. And he gave sannyas also quite liberally. But let's, for example, take all the sannyasis. He gave sannyas. I think we can say 90 or 95 percent of those sannyasis, they fell down. Is that Prabhupada's fault? No. No. So there, the mercy, that, that's another example. Prabhupada was not fallen, but those he initiated, many of them, they became fallen. Mm -hmm. And let, let's say that one spiritual master is fallen. Well, okay, what does fallen mean? As long as he is serving Krishna, he may have some faults. Not he may, not he may, but he, everyone. As long as the spiritual master is serving Krishna, then you can accept him. If he stops serving Krishna, you cannot, you cannot uh, continue. So what is the difference between, you can say he is completely out or he is a little bit fallen or there are some mistakes, but that does not mean you re reject him, that is my understanding. Uh, we are very quick to the respect in Kali Yuga is very much down, so we immediately see some fault. But of course, if the spiritual master is completely in Maya, then you have to find a new one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spiritual life that doesn't stop, you just find a new yeah, one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I, I heard one devotee, I think it was Sridhar Swami, Canadian Sridhar Swami, he said, if you have a tool, the tool breaks, you find a new tool. Sometimes you get sentimentally attached, but uh, the point is that we get what we deserve. Yeah. If we are very sincere, we are very uh, pure, then we get someone who is very sincere, who is very pure. very pure. If we have some problems in our heart, Krishna may send a person who has some similar things. So, so sincerity attracts sincerity. Si on est sincère, on attire des personnes sincères. Bref. <laughs> Très bref. Mm. Uh, I know that, okay, I, I haven't went, gone through this with uh, this experience, uh, so I cannot say that I would not be affected if I was in that situation, but I know many devotees who, who have gone through uh, difficult times like that, uh, but who, has, who are still in Krishna consciousness. Yeah, we get tested. And sometimes we get very severely tested. And we are thinking, this is too much. <laughs> Krishna, why are you doing this? <laughs> Vi får en test til Krishna en test. Det er for at forske Krishna sit tro. Så still, our tests are not so strong in comparison to the test of the Pandavas or Queen Kunti. Yeah. Our test is very <laughs> little. But we have to understand also that Krishna only tests us according to what we are able to go through. To manage. Yeah, he will not do more than we can take. Yeah. The yeah, Panda yeah. was there on a different level. They were in exile in the forest for how many years? 14 years. 14 years. We are maybe not ready for this. The <laughs> <laughs> Panda was, it's a person much more advanced than us. So their test was much bigger. Krishna, Krishna, there is a saying in French, Dieu ne, ne nous donne pas un fardeau trop lourd, yeah. uh, something like that. Yeah. 
j'avais entendu. Krishna ne nous, nous donne pas un fardeau qui est trop lourd pour nous de porter. Il nous donne euh, ce qu'on qu est capable de, de porter. Mm. We should have faith that Krishna is giving us what, what is coming. Uh, we are able to handle. But we also have to understand we are not alone. Mm. Krishna is there. Yeah. The devotees are there. Speaks <laughs> Everything is, ev so many different people are there to help us. Uh, sometimes it's intense, but when we pass the test and we come out on the other side, uh, there, is, there are so many blessings to be had. Yeah. We become stronger. We become very strong. When we pass the test, we become very strong. Tellement des bénédictions d'avoir, euh, même si des fois euh, euh, c'est très dur. So, any other questions? En no. français, en anglais. Um, is there not a danger when you're saying about um, like choosing devotees or serving more the devotees who are higher up? Yeah. Is there not a danger of externally? Because uh, great masters in India said you come nothing, you come so people don't even notice you like that. And some of the greatest masters have been beggars. Like so, yeah. is there not a danger in then looking to see who is outwardly more pious or something? Yeah. Um, in the West, especially, we have a problem with hierarchy. I don't know if that's what you're hinting at, or. Um, I'm hinting at maybe that the that it's hard to judge who is the most superior oh. devotee without your eyes, like um, yes. when you're saying choose the most superior. Yes. Um, often that isn't, um, you know, because sometimes the person you don't even notice is actually the most devotee, like it's actually... Yeah, outwardly you can be, uh, it can look good, mm. but inwardly not. But if, if we are sincere, we will detect who is sincere and who is making a show. We have to first become sincere. And um, those who are sincere will not be cheated. Uh, Prabhupada said that this world is a world of cheaters and the cheated. So the cheated, they are also not innocent. They want to be cheated. If we want something cheap, we become cheated. If we want something real, we will also get that. Uh, so I think if if you, they, it's also said that you cannot cheat an honest man. If you're honest, if you're sincere, you will not be cheated. I guarantee. Si on est sincère, honnête, on peut on ne peut pas tromper un homme honnête et sincère. So, is, that, is that okay? Because sometimes, sometimes you, you see persons who are very advanced spiritually, as you said, but they're like beggars or they have no money, they don't have any assets materially. Um, but they are pure devotees. Sometimes you see people who are materially very advanced, but they're not very spiritually advanced. But you can also have people who are both spiritually and materially advanced. We usually say that Krishna is the one, and all the material assets are the zeros. So if you have the one, this is better than having many zeros. But if you have the one and many zeros behind it, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but you have to use those zeros for Krishna's service. So if, if that person who is both spiritually and materially advanced, if he is engaging his wealth in Krishna's service, then you can also accept him as a pure devotee. There are certain people who keep themselves in an impoverished state state, the brahmanas. 
the brahmanas are not allowed to um, to to uh, to keep money. They get donations, but they spend it. They don't put them in the bank account for a very long time. Maybe a little bit, but they don't. Uh, they get wealth and they distribute it. This is the brahmanas. Then you have other people like the the merchants or the the businessmen, the the vaishas. By nature, they they are allowed to to keep money or keep wealth. So they're different people. Like the king, also, he has a lot of wealth, but he can be a very pious person if he doesn't put all the money in his pocket. Like the modern leaders, they all do that. Right? They mostly. Is that okay? Like Prabhupada, he, he's the perfect example. He was a millionaire. He had lots of money. And he had lots of followers. Uh, but he didn't drive around in a limousine. He was using everything in Krishna's service. So in, in that way people had no problem to serve him. It's not that he is at the top and everybody is serving him, he is enjoying and everybody is suffering. Prabhupada uh, never put himself on the top. He put Krishna on the top and he, he, he said that this society is called the society of Krishna consciousness. Not Prabhupada the movement of Prabhupada. Most people who found a movement, they put their own name, like the, this, this movement, that movement. But Prabhupada didn't do that. Alors, Prabhupada, il était l'exemple parfait. Uh, il était millionnaire. Il y avait tellement de disciples, de propriétés, etc. Mais il se mettait pas au centre. Il mettait Krishna au centre. Et comme ça, les, 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 les gens n'avaient pas de problème de le servir. Et ils savaient que Krishna était euh, au-delà. Ok More questions Otherwise, we can wind it up. <laughs> One more. Um, how to understand that it was chosen like some signs or um, what did you mention when you said Krishna is Krishna uh, sends persons to us different types of persons <coughs> um, I'm not saying it's easy to understand always he sends <coughs> spiritual master for me it was very clear with the spiritual master very clear I didn't have any doubts about that. About wife, it was a longer story. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you about that. But uh, uh, if if you are open, I think you will be able to see the arrangements that Krishna is making. Uh, and but he is first he is testing. That the first thing is that there is a test. And after the test, the benediction is coming. Not that he's just giving benedictions, like just giving out candy. No. It's not working like that. This is my personal experience. Uh, there is always, Radhana Swami also talks about this. You always have two things going on. First the test, then the benediction. Or also, you can say, if, if you get the benediction, then you'll get a test. You get something nice, then at the same time you have to appreciate. So these two things are always going on. We have to become equal in mind and go through both the good and bad situations. And uh, I think uh, we will see that. We will see what Krishna is up to. So basically, there is no end to the <laughs> test and no end to the benedictions. <laughs> when does it stop? <laughs> Where does it never stop? I don't know. Uh, it never stops.
it's uh, I think in the beginning in our spiritual quest it's more difficult because we have to become very purified but when you get purified the tests may be there but you do not become disturbed I have to translate also um, Il y a toujours deux choses qui se passent dans la vie. Il y a des tests, il y a des bénédictions. Et ça va ensemble. Euh, il faut, on, on dit passer le test. Oui, ça ici. Euh, passer le passer test, test pour avoir les bénédictions. Et quand on a une bénédiction, il y a une test avec. Ça va ensemble. We are in the world of duality. We have to remember Krishna and we will not become disturbed. Um, I just read a purport, Prabhupada's purport, that persons who are devotees, for persons who are devotees, Kali Yuga cannot influence you. Kali Yuga has no influence. For the person who becomes a devotee for Krishna, L'âge de Kali, l'âge euh, euh, difficile euh, ou en vie, n'a aucune influence euh, sur nous. We have to have faith in that and follow the process. The, our problem is that we don't have faith actually. Uh, and after faith comes realization. Then you have faith. Okay, I let me follow this process. And when we follow the process, we see that it works. Krishna is there. Krishna is helping us. And sometimes he is purifying us in a way that we cannot understand. We also have this tendency. We want to understand everything with our little head. But we cannot. Krishna is just too big. Krishna, il nous donne des tests, des fois on, on pense qu'il qu qu faut comprendre tout ce qu'il fait, Krishna, mais ce n'est pas possible. But just one last point is that Krishna, he shows us the next step. He always shows us what is the next step, but he never shows us the whole picture. That's only Krishna who can see the whole picture, but he, he, always, he never keeps his devotees in ignorance. He always shows what is the next thing to do, what is the next thing. Krishna il nous donne toujours euh, l'intelligence de comprendre qu'est-ce qu que le, le prochain pas. Mais le, comment dire, la, le, le big picture. L'image globale. L'image globale, c'est seulement Krishna qui l'a. Donc il faut accepter qu'on est petit. Mais Krishna nous montre le chemin. Okay. Shima Bhagavatam. Okay,